And on the Klamath River, progress continues on the largest dam removal project ever. Newswatch 12's McKenna Marks shows us the most recent efforts on the river and how many dams are left to be removed. Construction is underway here in Hornbrook along the Klamath River for the largest dam removal project in history. COPCO 2 is out of the water, but dry down preparation on COPCO 1, which you can see here behind me, along with the other two remaining dams, is already underway. One dam gone and three more to go. COPCO 2 was the first of four dams on the Klamath River to be removed. Now, crews are focusing on drawdown preparation, or in other words, they're planning to lower the reservoirs so they can safely start chipping away at the remaining dams. I met with the CEO of the company in charge of this historic project, who says everything is still running smoothly and on schedule. So about a year from now, we will have reestablished a free-flowing condition uh, throughout the hydroelectric reach on the Klamath River for the first time in over 100 years. We're still very much on schedule to have the dams completely removed by October or early November of 2024. Aside from using hand crews, bulldozers, and explosives to get the dams out of the water, there is a lot more to this project. Branson says environmental restoration work will begin in January, and it will take them years before the project is actually complete. Despite the long wait, Branson says the overall water quality of the river will improve, the salmon will return, and the results will be worth it. Reporting near Hornbrook, McKenna Marks, Newswatch 12.